Welcome to Simply Christianity. In this week's video, I want to talk about and define what Christians mean by the word faith. Uh, I think this video is going to be very important because many non-religious people misunderstand what Christians mean by the word faith, and atheists don't define it correctly at all, especially here on YouTube, um, on Facebook, other social media, popular articles. They don't define it correctly. And this is a problem because in order to have a discussion, in order to have a dialogue about faith, um, even just about Christianity, you have to know what faith means. Um, and it's important to know what Christians mean by the word faith if you're going to talk about Christian faith. Um, before we get into defining uh, the terms and the words, though, uh, I do want to offer a disclaimer. So I do think that the definition I'm going to put forth is universally accepted by Christians. I think it's a universal definition for faith. Um, some Christians may have different emphases, may word it differently, but I think the general idea behind the word is going to be the same for all Christians. What's going to be different is going to be the beliefs, ideas, concepts surrounding the word faith. Um, and so I'm not going to get into those here. But just know that the definition is going to be universal. Um, those differences, uh, they're not important for understanding the foundation of Christianity, um, and so they're not really going to be uh, the topic at all of this video. Um, again, the purpose of this channel is not to get into the specifics of a one Christian idea versus another. It's not going to try and convince you of one or the other. It's just going to be presenting you with basic Christian ideas and beliefs um, and presenting you with arguments, defenses, and explanations for those. So with that out of the way, let's talk about faith. So I want to start actually with the atheist definition and then work from there because I think that's important. So the atheist, the um, some atheists, not all, but popular atheists, YouTube atheists in particular, define faith as a belief in something without evidence. And even the more radical uh, atheists would define it as belief in something despite or in spite of the evidence, meaning that you believe in something when there's actually evidence that you shouldn't. And that simply is not the Christian definition of faith. That's actually not what we mean by faith when we use it in common language outside of religion. That's not what we mean by faith. It's not, it's not belief without evidence, okay? Um, that's just simply not true. And, and that's a problem. And I'll get to why that is in, uh, in a second. But I'm going to put forward what I believe is a good Christian definition of faith. And it's this. Christians would define faith as both a belief and trust in Jesus Christ. And to use a generic definition of faith that fits that would just be a belief and trust in something or someone. So let's break this down a little bit. It seems like these three words, belief, trust, and faith, are actually synonymous. We almost use them interchangeably in everyday language. And that's true to some extent. But they do have specific connotations which I think are important to this discussion. And uh, I'll talk about them right here. So faith, I think, and I think Christians would argue, is the combination of belief and trust. Okay, so what's the difference between, so that's the difference between faith, belief, and trust, right? So faith is the combination of those two other words. So then what's different about those two words, belief and trust? And, and here's what, what I would say. Belief is intellectually knowing or believing something, right? Um, so it, it's, it's, knowing something like kind of in your head. Trust is, is acting as if something were true. Um, it's taking something at face value. It's taking something, it's taking someone for their word. Um, it's an action. It, it requires action. It requires a response on, the, on your part. So faith is a combination of intellectual belief, intellectual uh, thinking that something is true, and a response to thinking it's true, putting, you know, your trust in something. So now that we've defined faith, um, specifically Christian faith is this idea of combination of belief, intellectual belief in Jesus, and he is who he says he was, and what he said is true, and trust, which is this response and action on that belief. Um, I think, you know, we can start to have conversations with people and begin to talk about what faith is. But before we move on to that, I do want to give two analogies that I think solidify what I mean and what Christians mean by this combination of belief and trust. And the first is the analogy of a bridge. I think most of you probably have faith in bridges. 
I have faith in Bridges. I know that for sure. I know I have faith in Bridges. Um, and here's what that means. I believe that Bridges are safe. If you ask me, you know, as I'm sitting here in my apartment or if I'm in a coffee shop or if I'm at work, hey, do you think, you know, the 95 bridge or, or the 81 bridge or whatever bridge is safe, I'll probably say yes. Um, if I have knowledge of that bridge, if, if I know about that bridge, I'll say, yeah, that's, it's a safe bridge. Um, but I have faith, not just because of that belief, but because I have the trust, the trust to drive across it um, when I have to, the, drive, the trust to walk across it when I have to. And so when you have faith in a bridge, it's believing it's safe and trusting it's safe. And where this idea really kind of gets brought to life is in my uh, not having faith in roller coasters. So if I'm sitting in my apartment, if I am at work, or if I am even in the amusement park with my cousins or friends and they ask, do you think that roller coaster is safe? I will say, yes, I think it's safe. Um, and they'll say, good, do you want to ride it? And I'll say, no, I don't have faith in roller coasters. They'll be like, what does that mean? I'll be like, well, I don't trust it. I've got something in the back of my head that just doesn't let me trust it. It won't let me get on it. it tells me, you know, even though you know it's safe, you know, you don't trust it. And I think that really illustrates what faith is. You know, you can have belief, you can have intellectual belief, but if you never act on it, you don't have faith. And that's what faith is. It's the combination of these two words that are really similar but have really specific differences um, into that thing. You know, I don't have faith in roller coasters because I don't trust them. I don't put that belief into action. I don't respond to that belief as a person. Um, you know, you're not going to see me on a roller coaster because I hate them. I hate them with a burning passion because I don't trust them. I hate roller coasters. They terrify me. But moving on from that, um, the, uh, with those two analogies, I think it's, it's, we can see much clearer what, we, what Christians mean by faith. And now that brings me to the point where I'm going to compare the atheist definition of, yeah, there's no evidence, and you believe it anyways. You know, belief without sufficient evidence, which I think is the, the nicer definition to use because the other one just absolutely is, is not... Uh, a fair definition in the slightest, which is the d uh, belief in spite or uh, despite of evidence. Um, so th this idea of that faith is the belief without any evidence, um, and faith is this belief and trust, uh, a combination of those two words. Um, so I want to start off by saying we should prefer the Christian definition, as I said before, because if we're going to be talking about Christian faith, we ought to use the Christian terminology. If you're going to argue against Christian faith, you have to argue against Christian faith. You can't argue against your own made-up word and call it faith, which is what I think a lot of atheists do, especially on YouTube uh, and on popular social media sites. I, I, it's, it's rampant. I, I see it all the time. I'm not saying that atheists as a whole do it. I'm just saying a lot of popular atheists do, and that's a big problem, I think. Um, and it's a problem for another reason, too. It's a fallacy, it's a logical fallacy that they use in their argumentation. When they present arguments saying, you know, Christianity is irrational because of faith, or they say faith, you know, they argue against faith. They're committing a logical fallacy when they use this definition of faith, and here's why. It's called the straw man fallacy. The straw man fallacy is a logical fallacy. What's a logical fallacy? Well, a logical fallacy is a incorrect argumentation. It's, it's, um... It's fallacies are different types of deficiencies in someone's argument. It's, it's a way to point out really quickly where someone's argument, uh, you know, breaks down. It, it doesn't work. And straw man is a specific type of fallacy where the person committing the fallacy, the person creating the straw man fallacy, takes their opponent's argument, twists it and distorts it into something that is much weaker and isn't even the same argument, but it's weaker and it slightly resembles the old argument. And then they knock that easy, easy one down and they say, look, because I was able to knock this down, your argument falls and, you know, we, we shouldn't believe your argument. Uh, this is a fallacy. This is incorrect because you're actually not engaging with the argument that you should be. You're taking it, you're creating one that's not their argument. You're creating your own argument, honestly. You're creating your own argument that's easily, knock, that's easily to knock down. Uh, and I think this is what atheists do when they define faith as evidence without sufficient reason. And here's why. If you look at the Christian version of faith, the Christian definition of faith, 
Um, the amount of evidence required to have faith could be as little as zero. That's, that's true. But it could be as high as almost 100%, right? Um, so take the bridge analogy, for example. I am not a civil engineer. I'm an engineer, but I'm not a civil engineer. So I, and I, beyond that, I haven't looked at the drawings for the bridge. Um, I haven't uh, been present at the construction. I'm not at the legislative meeting where they decide on what rules to put on bridges to make them safe. You know, I actually don't have a lot of the evidence that will be required to know 100% if the bridge is safe, and yet I have faith in it anyways. But that faith isn't unfounded. It's not like I don't have any intuitions or any evidence that it's, that it's true. For example, I think that um, if the bridge is open, that means that it has been signed off by uh, governing officials. Um, so that's a piece of evidence in the, you know, faith camp in order to, have, to put my faith in that bridge. It's a piece of evidence to support that. Um, I, I am an engineer, and I've gone to engineering school, and I know a little bit about what civil engineers have to learn and do. Um, so I have, a, I have that, some of that as evidence. I have, you know, this evidence that civil engineers know what they're doing, and so that goes in that evidence column. Um, big piece of evidence is my observation that cars have driven across it before I have and have gotten to the other side safely. The bridge hasn't collapsed. It hasn't even, like, buckled or sh uh, shaken. Uh, so that's an evidence in the evidence column. You can see, like, you know, the evidence stacks up. But I don't have as much evidence as, the say, the civil engineer who built the thing. They have tons of evidence that that, that, that bridge um, is safe. And so if they, put, they can still put their faith in it, they have a lot more evidence than I do, but we both have faith in that bridge. And you can take someone who has no science knowledge whatsoever, um, has no, you know, idea, you know, someone, you know, who's never, you know, has any experience with bridges before, and they can still put their faith in the bridge with almost no evidence um, for it and still have faith. So you can see, like, faith can be as, can be tiny amount of evidence, mediocre amount of evidence, ton amount of evidence. It doesn't matter. You can still have faith. Faith isn't dependent on the amount of evidence um, that, that is presented. So I think that's important distinction, is that the atheists define it as this no evidence, and the Christian definition doesn't really talk about evidence at all. Um, however, Christians would argue that they have evidence for their faith. There are reasons we put our faith in Jesus Christ. Many philosophers, Christian apologists, provide many reasons, uh, many arguments for why Christian faith is rational, is reasonable, and why we ought to have faith. So it is just incorrect and is a lie to say that Christians have faith, and faith is this belief because of lack of evidence. Um, it's a lie, it's uh, misinformative, um, and it's really dishonest, and, and it's something that, you know, popular atheists do on a regular basis, basis. and I think it's, it's really wrong, um, and, you know, it really portrays Christianity in a negative light that it shouldn't. But I do think they get this idea from somewhere, and this somewhere is when they're talking with a theist or a Christian, someone who believes in God, they're arguing, they're arguing, they bring up a specific point that the Christian or a theist may not have an answer to. And when the Christian or theist doesn't have an answer to something, instead of saying, I don't know, which is what, you know, scientists usually say, uh, they'll say, oh, um, well, I just have faith. And that phrase, I just have faith, is where the atheist takes and applies to faith as a whole. And they say, look, they don't have any evidence, and that's what faith is. What that's saying, when, when a Christian says, I just have faith, what that's saying is like, yes, I don't have an answer for your specific question or your specific objection right now. But I have all this other evidence and my personal experience with the Christianity, with this person of Jesus Christ, that, you know, if I believe all this other stuff, I, you know, I have faith, I have trust, belief, that there probably is an answer to your objection, I just don't know it. Um, and that is where the atheist gets this idea. But that's not a problem. Um, it's not a problem to say, I just have faith in those instances where you might not have a good answer for an objection, or you might not be able to find an answer to objection. Um, in fact, scientists do it all the time when they say they don't know something. You know, scientific theories are rife with questions and, and, and I don't knows, and yet scientists still believe in the theories. They still develop the theories, they still think the theories are true, and what they'll say is, I don't know yet. And to me, that's the same thing as saying, you know, I don't know, but I have faith. Or I just have faith. Because what you're saying is you're saying, based on all the other evidence, this makes the most sense. So for Christians, it's Jesus Christ makes the most sense. In the case of a scientist, 
Um, it's, you know, this theory makes the most sense given all this evidence. And if you pinpoint one area that it might not make a ton of sense, or it might not answer fully, you investigate it further. That's what you do. Um, and that's what, what Christians mean when, I, when they say, I just have faith. It's not a claim that, oh, faith is not having evidence. It's just saying, because I have faith in the evidence I do have, um, and because I do have faith in Jesus Christ, I'm not going to change my mind on this one specific instance. And I think that's something very rational, that's really reasonable. You don't want to be a ping pong ball that changes their mind about core beliefs every single time someone brings up something you can't answer off right off the cuff. Um, you know, scientists definitely don't do it, as I already said. Um, you know, whenever a question is brought up, whenever someone challenges your worldview and you don't have an answer, you don't change your mind right away. You know, it ought to be a slow process. You ought to investigate it further and not change your mind right away. And I think that's the key takeaway, is once you have faith, you know, part of that trust is, is um, you know, acting as if that thing are true. And you look at, you know, these objections and, and these questions that you don't have an answer to right away. And you say, you know what, I'm going to look into that more. But because of everything else and because I believe, I'm not going to switch, change my mind right away. And that's totally rational, totally reasonable. And, you know, it's done all the time outside of um, religion. And so if that's the case, then you shouldn't... Um, degrade or, or um, uh, bring down religion because of that, because other, other um, institutions and other, other ways of thinking uh, have that same problem, such as the, you know, the, the favorite child of atheism, which is science, which is also something Christians like too, um, but stereotypically atheists will usually point to science as the greatest thing, um, and science uses faith all the time. Um, in fact, it takes faith to believe in the scientific method, which I will probably talk about later because this video is getting very long. Um, but just know that science requires some kind of faith, um, not just with specific theories, but science, the method of science, you know, the scientific method requires faith in order to perform science. Um, so, just to recap what faith is. Faith is belief and trust in someone or something, and Christian faith is belief and trust in Jesus Christ. And that is believing something in your head, as well as trusting and acting and responding to that belief appropriately. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That'll help you keep up to date with new content and new videos as I come out with them. On that note, please comment new video ideas below, um, new topics to discuss. I'm always trying to um, talk about issues that you guys have questions about or might uh, struggle with. Um, please share this video with people you think it might be helpful with. Um, I want to try and reach people really who are on the fence, uh, especially people who can only find you know, the atheist answers to things um, or who struggle with uh, those kind of videos. Please share this with them um, so that they can see the Christian side of the argumentation, uh, Christian side of what faith is specifically. Um, thank you for watching again. Um, I hope you have a good week and stay tuned for my next video. Thanks.